When facing a threat to our survival, our most primal response is to fight or flight. But how do you fight when the threat is invisible? And where do you flee when there is no planet B? The EU has chosen to fight on behalf of all its citizens, with the socialists and democrats in the front line. Together, we are ready to battle for a 60% reduction in carbon emissions by 2030. And get this target down on paper in Europe's first ever climate law. It may have been called a man on the moon moment, but let's face it, the Apollo mission was a walk in the park compared to the challenges facing the world today. As the EU aims to become the first climate neutral continent by 2050, the S&D group wants to ensure that each and every member state reaches carbon neutrality. And we must achieve this without making other parts of the world pollute for our consumption. Carbon neutrality requires a balance between emitting and absorbing carbon from the atmosphere. In order to achieve net zero emissions, all greenhouse gas emissions have to be counterbalanced by equivalent sequestration in carbon sinks. The main natural carbon sinks are soils, forests and oceans. But our emission levels are currently way above what these can absorb and no technology is able to remove carbon from the atmosphere on the necessary scale. We're also constantly losing and damaging our carbon sinks. We can try to fight back with emissions trading and offsetting, but it won't be enough. In order to save our future, there's no alternative but to drastically reduce our emissions. But it will take more than individual actions to address climate change. Youth has shown us the way. A way towards a greener future, better health and a fairer economy. They have challenged the political world to tackle climate change, to improve air quality, to provide greener jobs. It is now down to member states to act and transform this challenge into opportunities for all. We, as the Socialists and Democrats, pledge to hold them accountable. There is nowhere to flee. We need everyone to step up to make a giant leap 